Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily Lucy Ratch. If you are new here, I've got an Instagram account, a TikTok account, and a YouTube channel. So welcome if this is your first time. Please make sure you hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And you might not have noticed, but there is a giveaway in the description. So head there. And if you are from Instagram and TikTok, hello. Thanks for entering the giveaway. So today's video is all about summer hot days when you want to feel cool, but you also want to feel stylish and comfortable. And whatever you are wearing is flattering you. You are not just walking around in the street with some tiny shorts on and a bikini top feeling like a hot mess like you're on holiday but really you're in Britain. I'm here to help you <laughs> with some outfit ideas that are sophisticated, stylish, flattering but also perfect for those really hot days where if it was possible you would walk around naked but it's not so <laughs> let's get going. Okay, so this video is part of the personal shopping series that I have done. If you are new here, you will not know what I'm talking about. So head down to the description again below and you will be able to see all of the other episodes from the mid-sized personal shop series. I've done flattering tummies, flattering skirts, flattering tops, you name it. We've covered quite a few subjects. But today, I wanted to do this one because I myself have been really struggling in the heat that we've been having in the UK recently. And it's just more like, what do I wear? What's appropriate? I'm not abroad, I'm not on holiday, so I can't be wearing a bikini top to the supermarket like I would if I was in Spain. So I thought this would be a really good video. And a lot of you on Instagram voted that this is the video you wanted to see. So I'm gonna just talk through the items and then I'll show you me wearing them here as we talk through. So number one on this list is shorts. So I think on a hot day, the last thing you wanna do is put jeans on or leggings or anything that's like gonna cling to you and be warm and hot. So shorts are a great one to start with because there's just so many varieties that as a mid-size woman, you can get away with because there are some flattering shorts out there. There is also a lot of unflattering shorts out there, so it's really about picking the perfect styles. So I'm going to show you. So first is the denim short. This one is from Boohoo, and it is actually from the tall range, which means it has a little bit more of a length here. These ones I have worn to death. I think I got these in 2019, maybe. No, 2020. And... I have really wore them to death. I have got another pair, but these are like my trusty ones. Like I've wore them in, they're so comfortable and they almost have like a vintage look to them now. So this is me wearing them with a cute little top. But I really do think if you can get a denim short that's flattering, then you're not gonna look back. And a denim short goes with so many different things. It's a really good staple to have in summer to throw on. And if you go for a longer length like these ones are in the tall, you're not gonna have any chafing issues and I don't know, I think you can wear them in a really sophisticated way if you choose the right outfit. So these ones I've gone for are a frayed edge. I would never go for a turn up. If you've got big thighs like me, I would never go for a turn up because that's then gonna make your leg look bigger. If you go for a frayed edge like this, it works to actually flatter the leg. I don't actually know why that happens. It almost like elongates the leg because it's not cutting it off. So the frayed edge is 100% a, a tip that I would go for when picking denim shorts and then again go for a top. Then obviously I had to do a little plug in here for my own shorts. These ones are from my own fashion brand called ELR Style and they are a floaty short. So these ones I have designed myself and it was because I really struggled every summer to find a flattering floaty short that wouldn't sell out straight away. Like it's so hard. Every year the brands do a floaty short but then everybody wants them so they always sell out and it's so annoying because well, the experience I've had previously with floaty shorts is that they're good for one summer and then you wash them and then they shrink. So the actual size of them becomes too small. Again, and short on the leg and then my legs are rubbing together, I get chafing. Whereas I have actually designed my own shorts. So I'll show you me wearing them here. And I have to say, I'm so proud of these. The feedback has been absolutely amazing. As you can see here, so many different people, shapes, sizes, ages, wearing these shorts and absolutely loving them. And I really do feel like they are chafe friendly. They are really good quality. So I've washed these three or four times and you can see the quality is still there. They're not transparent. You can't see my hand through them at all. You can't see any of my underwear. And I've got the big bright filming lights on and you can't see anything through them. 
and they're just so good for being comfortable like you can eat in them they've got a really stretchy waistband they go with loads of stuff they're great for on holiday you can dress them up dress them down and they're just so light so on those hot days you're not going to be thinking oh my god this like fabric is absolutely killing me these are just such a lightweight fabric and they're so comfortable so like i said I had to plug them in there but it's because I really believe in these shorts. They're so bloody flattering and every time I wear them, I feel absolutely amazing in them. So I had to plug them in there. But obviously other brands also do floaty shorts and I just think they're a really good. Every year you can bring them out, necessity item to your wardrobe. You're never gonna go wrong with a pair of floaty shorts. And I am actually working to bring a different color out in these. I'm hoping for like a polka dot or eventually a white. I just need to make sure that the fabric is right for the white because again, we don't want any transparent underwear on show. It's really important for me that the quality stays high and it's just the fabric we need to get right then the third short is this kind of sport short so these ones are from Abercrombie I also have some I'm going to show you from Primark from Fashion Nova they're just this kind of like simple short but I absolutely love these on a hot day I will wear them with a bodysuit I will wear them with a shirt I'll wear them in loads of different styles these ones from Abercrombie are so nice these are my like I feel like they're my bougie runner shorts i wore this to the cinema the other day with um a jumper over the top like a sweatshirt gray sweatshirt and trainers white socks you can really make them sporty or you can make them just look quite casual they're great on holiday with bikini top they're great with a swimsuit they're just a really good piece to have in your wardrobe on those really hot days and they're just so comfortable. I got to a stage though where I was like wearing them constantly, so they ended up becoming pajamas. So I never actually saved enough of the sports shorts. Where these ones, are obviously, like I said, they're from Abercrombie, so I really, re I really respect these shorts. <laughs> so I'm trying to wear them not all the time so that they last. The fabric's gorgeous. It's not too hot. It's more like a they're like a t-shirt style. They're like a cotton, and they're just so comfortable. You can also get them in like a linen style. These are like a paper bag one, but they're the, more or less the exact same style of runner shorts, I like to call them, or paper bag shorts. And these ones are from Boohoo. These ones are more of a holiday short because they are slightly transparent, but these are in like a cotton rather than a soft material. But again, that style where this is floaty, you're not going to be cut off on the leg. Anything that's like tight around the leg in a short is going to make your legs look bigger if you have got bigger legs so i always go for something that's a bit more floaty but then ties in at the waist to create more of a shape and you will not go wrong so there's three different style of shorts that i recommend for hot days and i've also showed you some different outfits on how to wear them then next is skirts so i absolutely love nothing more in summer than a skater skirt this one is from sheen i've worn this one before and i put it in my sheen haul and then i also have a new one that i absolutely love to wear from i saw it first which is this one it's in a polka dot and a great tip so i wore the polka dot one walking around london with my ela style bodysuit and it was a really hot day i was baking but i knew we would be walking for miles went all along the embankment got on one of the boats then went back to algate and we were literally we did like twelve thousand steps in a few hours we were walking loads so i knew if i wore this skirt and just underwear then we could probably have some potential chafing issues or my skirt would blow up or i'd be in a situation where i would think oh my god i'm wearing a skirt in a situation where everyone's gonna see my underwear so i actually put underneath cycling shorts you can just go for, for like a generic cycling short like this put it underneath and I felt fine all day. My legs weren't rubbing together. I had no chafing issue. And if anyone said anything, I was just like, well, obviously we're having that quite an active day. I don't want my skirts to be blown up and everyone see my underwear. 31 years old, no one wants to see my pants. So yeah, I think it's a really good tip if you want to wear skater skirts. Just put like a really fine, light cycling shorts. These ones are from I Saw It First. I have rave about these. They're so good to put under skirts and dresses. And it's just a really quick tip for those hot days where you think, oh my God, I am so hot, but I can't wear just a skirt on its own. I will literally feel too exposed. And like I said, if anyone says anything, just be like, you know, I don't want my skirt to blow up or I feel like it's a bit short. No, no one's gonna care. My mother-in-law does it, my mum, every, everybody I know. If they're in a situation where they are feeling overexposed, they will put like a little cycling short on or a little crop short underneath. Just, you know, one for chafing and two to hide any any issues or accidents that might happen where you're in Tesco car park and then the next thing you skirt's on top of your head which 
That's happened to me many a time. Then another skirt I absolutely love on hot days is a wrap skirt. This one you guys absolutely love. This video did so well on all my channels because you guys love this skirt. And it is suddenly back in stock, which I'm shocked about because it actually completely sold off out and they removed it off the website. But I checked yesterday and it is back in stock and it's the exact same skirt and it's just so nice. Again, if you want to, you can put cycling shorts underneath this if you're having a situation where you feel like your legs are rubbing. Apparently, liquid chalk is also really good for chafing, but I think this is just such a nice skirt to put on a hot day with a bodysuit or a little crop top or a normal swimsuit or anything you wanted, a t-shirt that you're gonna feel comfortable in and you can have your legs out. But if you're someone that doesn't like to have anything too short, the wrap skirt in this kind of midi length is probably the best bet for you. And it's just so light. It's in like a silky kind of light material. So it's not gonna be too hot. You're not gonna be cooking. And I just think this color is so nice for summer with white. And then the in-between of the skirt and the short is the Scott. This one is from Nasty Girl and I wore it here and it's shorts at the back Scott at the front and what I will say for this is again the shorts are fine because it's not tight it's not pulling it's not got a turn up or anything like that but this works to tie across like this which really works to flatter the tummy area because you're disguising especially if you like me and you've got like a little lower tum that that can really cling to certain fabrics. This is great because you work in to tie the knot and then it looks really stylish, it's comfortable. You've got shorts, so you're not having the skirt issue which I mentioned before with the chafing or everything being, you know, quite revealing in summer. This is a really great piece to have so that you can mix both together, but then it's got this wrap at the front, which I think is a really genius idea for mid-sized women to have like a more comfortable but stylish outfit wearing a Scott. Next is dresses. This one is from I Saw It First last year. I haven't seen it on the website since, but I will link below some similar styles. This is me wearing it last year. And I just love this because it's got the buttons down the front, but then it has this tie and it's in a skater style. So I personally think in summer, you will not find a more flattering dress other than the skater dress. They come in so many different styles. So like obviously this one has these little sleeves and then this on the shoulder. Then this trusty one that I absolutely love from Boohoo, which I know is available still. So cute, absolutely cute summer essential. Again, in a skater. So it's just working to skim off your summer you're not having anything cling to you it's really light fabric it's flattering it looks great on any body type and I just think you cannot have a better more flattering summer outfit than a skater spaghetti strap wrap strap or any style of skater but if you feel like they are a little bit too skimpy a little bit too short you can go for a long line skater. This one is like a really long one. I'll show you it here. And this one is from Simply B. I absolutely love this dress. This one's in a 14 and I wish to God I got it in a 12 because the 14's a little bit too big. So I do feel like it's a bit too much fabric going on because it is much bigger on me. But I just love the color and the fact that this is like a t-shirt top. So nothing's too much on show here or on your sleeves. And then it's like a midi length in this really light fabric and it's just so nice for a hot day yes it's very bright and you're making a statement apparently it's coming in different colors as well as um simply be told me um but i just think it's such a gorgeous hot day dress or if you know you're going out for the day and then you're probably going to just go straight to the evening to grab some food or whatever and you wanted to wear something that is quite transitional from day to night then i have to say this one is at the top of my list of suggestions because it's just so beautiful but then you can also go for the trusty wrap dress this one is so gorgeous from Boohoo. There is loads of really amazing wrap dresses out there at the moment. Quiz do some amazing wrap dresses. I saw it first. Misguided. Every brand at the moment is doing the wrap dress because they are super flattering and there's some gorgeous prints and colours out there at the moment. So I really think a wrap dress is just such a good staple on a really, really hot day. And again, if you want to put the cycling shorts underneath it, you can do. If you wanted to put a little top to here so that it wasn't too revealing or you could put shapewear underneath it. There's so many things you can do with a wrap dress. And like I said, so many gorgeous summer prints. And then in terms of tops, 
I think these style are so flattering at the moment. This one is from ISO at first. Absolutely love this top. It looks great with the little white shorts. It looks great with a skater skirt. It looks great with jeans. It looks great with the jean shorts. These ones are a mum jean from Pretty Little Thing and it looks great with them. And the milkmaid tops I just think are so flattering. Obviously I'm wearing one now. This one's from Nasty Gal and they are so good on a hot day because obviously you can like have this area out but then if you are someone who's a little bit self-conscious about this part of your arms it covers that part and it just reveals this part of your arm which is the most slimmest and flattering part of your arm and it just looks great tucked in with mum jeans or like I just said loads of different options with skater skirts shorts that kind of thing and then you can also do a little top like this one this one is from Miss Guided and it's here and I've just put that one with mum jeans again but it's really cute if you are somebody that wants to have your legs completely covered then I think a ripped mum jean on a hot day is a really nice way to balance a really small like little croppy top and then have your legs covered with a mum jean. You're not going to feel like it's too revealing or you're too exposed but you still are wearing something that's got slits in, it's something that's got your arms out, something that's got your chest out, you're going to feel not like you are melting because you are balancing out the two. And then finally is bodysuits. This one is from Misguided. I also have these ones I absolutely love from Boohoo and they're just great to put with all the items that I've just previously mentioned. So the shorts, the skirts, everything like that. Jeans, you can mix and match them and they work just as an additional piece to combine and make these outfits work as a whole. So I've linked those down below for you as well. So I hope that was helpful. I know I probably just spoke a lot to you guys, but I just wanted to really summarize quickly these key items to shop for when you need some outfits that are easy to throw on and gonna be cool and you can get them out every year. You don't have to keep buying the same stuff every single year and thinking, oh, I've spent a lot of money every summer on a new wardrobe. Not needed when you shop smartly. So. If you haven't already, make sure you enter my giveaway, which is down below. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys really soon. Thanks. Bye.